Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the surface area of a cone. And remember, surface area is the total area of the outside or surface of a three-dimensional shape. When it comes to cones, we have two surfaces that we're going to find the area of and then add those areas together to get the total surface area. We have the area of the base and then the lateral area. The lateral area is the area of the curved surface, the part that wraps around, so to speak. So that's our formula, the area of the base, so this capital B right here, plus the lateral area. Now we can make that even more specific. We'll use pi r squared for the area of the circular base, so pi r squared, plus pi r s. Pi r s is going to give us the lateral area. Now the r stands for radius within that formula, and then the s stands for the slant height. Now I do wanna mention that it's common for an l to be used to represent the slant height. It doesn't matter which S or L, they both mean the same thing as far as slant height for that formula. Before we go through the example, I wanna take a look at the net of a cone to better understand surface area. You can think of a net as an unfolded 3D shape. It shows all of the parts of a 3D shape, so to speak. So we have the lateral area right here, and we find that area using pi times the radius times the slant height. And then we have the base right here, which is a circle, so we use pi times the radius squared. We add those areas together and we have the surface area of a cone. So let's jump into our example here where we have a cone with a base radius of four inches and then a slant height of 13 inches. And the first thing that we wanna do is write out our formula. So surface area equals, we have pi r squared plus pi r s. Once we have that, we can plug in our radius and slant height. So surface area equals pi radius of four inches and that is squared plus pi times the radius of four times the slant height of 13. And now we're ready to solve. So at this point, you can plug that into a calculator and either use the pi button or the approximate rounded version of pi, 3.14, and whatever comes out on your calculator will be the surface area of a cone. Now I'm going to continue simplifying or breaking this down until I get it in terms of pi, and then I will calculate the surface area in decimal form. So let's go through some steps here in order to do that. And we'll start by um, doing four squared, which is going to give us 16. Four squared means four times four. So let's put the area of the base in terms of pi. So we will have 16 times pi. Now I put the 16 before the pi symbol there because typically speaking, when you have something in terms of pi, a number times pi, you put the number first. Plus, well, four times 13 is going to give us 52. So in terms of pi for the lateral area, we're going to have 52 pi. Now we can add our whole numbers together and combine our pies. So we have surface area equals 68 pi. And that's our answer in terms of pi. 68 pi is going to be the surface area of that cone. Now let's calculate this and see what 68 pi equals. And I'm going to use the pi button on a calculator. So if you're using the approximate or rounded version of pi, 3.14, your answer is going to be slightly different than mine. So 68 pi equals 213, and we are going to round the decimal to the nearest hundredth. 
So 213 and 63 hundredths, and this is area, so inches squared. And again, I rounded that decimal to the hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you find the surface area of a cone. Find the area of the base and then the lateral area. Add those areas together and you have the surface area. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.